This is Dingus, a deep reinforcement learning AI cube. And these are the Dingus 4-pack you can get from Teenu. These Dingus knockoffs are going to duke it out in an ultimate battle for supremacy, using each of their individual abilities to get the better of their foes. So let's introduce our challenges. First we have Charger Dingus. He charges forward, and he has a drill nose that activates on a charge. It drills enemy health away quickly, but he has to get his spacing right so that he doesn't just send them flying or miss them completely. Then we have Shooter Dingus, who fires off a bunch of balls that quickly deploy into spiked balls, harming any who touch them except for himself. Then we have Bomber Dingus, inspired by Bomberman. He drops an explosive behind him that detonates in a large radius, hurting and sending flying anything within, including himself. And finally we have Shover Dingus, a martial artist that can blast away anything near him, the force of which sends him flying backwards too. They each see through a vast sensor array, able to detect different types of enemies, the directions that they're facing, battlefield walls, different sorts of hazards, they also know how much health they have, and what the cooldown on their abilities are. The best way for you to understand the journey these agents go through is to just show you a lot of the highlights. So without further ado, here's the learning process. Here we have Bomber Dingus learning that the high level strategy of blowing yourself up for massive negative rewards is not a particularly effective strategy at all. So I'm hoping he grows out of that in relatively short order. Actually, now's a really good time to touch on the subject of rewards. Reinforcement learning is all about an agent exploring an environment and trying to figure out what gets it the biggest amount of reward. Essentially, it's kind of like a human. It has sensors that it uses to experience the world, and then it has its ways of interacting with the world, which are actions, such as using their special ability, or moving around, or turning. Then, certain things can result in it getting rewards, either positive or negative. In this game, damaging an enemy gives you a positive reward, and taking damage gives you a negative reward. Being defeated by an opponent gives you a significant negative reward, and winning the battle royale gets you a substantial positive reward. The idea being, the AI are meant to learn what gets positive rewards and negative rewards, and then try to get the highest amount of reward it can in the session. A session being a single battle royale instance. So that's more or less what these agents are trying to do. Here we are 70 minutes after battle starting. As you can see, everyone's still pretty dumb. Bomber Dingus occasionally dodges his own bombs, but, you know, we're not seeing a lot impressive here. It appears that Driller and Shover do try to get up in each other's faces every once in a while, and there seems to be a concerted effort to avoid the spike balls that are already on the field, most of the time. But, uh, yeah, as warned, slow learning. So what does three hours of training get us? Well, actually, it's pretty interesting. We see Bomber Dingus now very much dodging his own bombs. We see Charger Dingus deliberately trying to go after targets and charge into them, though his aim's pretty awful, and uh, sometimes he gets very interested in walls instead. Shovel, however, is remarkably passive, often choosing to keep his distance and just try to push everything away. Is this some sort of allegory about letting others into your life? Probably not. Shooter, however, has a very interesting style. It's uh, really up close and personal for somebody who has a ranged option. Arguably being a little more passive and firing those balls from a further distance would keep him a lot safer from both the Charger Dingus and the Shover Dingus. There are a couple of things about this training session that makes it really different to my usual. For starters, everybody's competing with each other. Typically the easiest way to assess if an AI is getting better is to just look at its score continuing to increase. Well, if you've gotten the reward function correct. But this time, if one of the agents is doing really well, it will get a high score. Quite possibly at the cost of other agents getting a good high score. This could risk they don't get enough score to learn how to properly fight. Fortunately, there's enough rewards available for AI agents just by behaving good, even if they don't necessarily win fights, that they all seem to have learned at a pretty good rate. And the episode length is decreasing as well, showing that they're fighting instead of being passive. I was supposed to get to the conclusion of the video here, but uh, I just saw something, uh, so uh, now I want to show it to you. It's my video. I do what I want. So here's this late game battle between Driller and Shooter. Driller manages to fall onto his side and get into a complete panic fest. He's still trying to dodge all the balls, but he somehow wound up then on top of his head instead, as he continues to bounce around in a panic. I, I don't know what this strategy is. I can't. <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing, Dingus? As he finally writes himself, he doesn't even bother getting back in. The fight's over, and uh, at least he didn't lose? So what was my endgame here? 
My ultimate vision was for an entire league of AI agents to duke it out over a season. Each time would feature a set of different agents battling and earning points to ultimately crown a grand champion at the end of a season. This is still the preseason event. Even after literally hundreds of hours of training and tweaking and balancing, I still don't have a full roster, but dang it, I'm getting real close. Close enough to run a preseason commentated best of five battle for these four agents here. So without further delay, here's the preseason battle royale. Round one. All right, we immediately have Driller Dingus going straight into Bummer Dingus. Looks like this will be a fast paced match one. Or oh, Shover has managed to almost weep between two sets of balls. And unfortunately, Driller is already out of the match. Now it's just Shooter and Shover. We shove it up in Shooter's face. I don't think there's any chance of him surviving at this point. Shover's just going to have his way with this fight. A couple more shoves and Shover is the winner. That is one win to Shover. Round two. Okay, immediately we have Driller going up against Bomber again. And Shover is already having his way with Shooter. He just face tanked the ball and Driller has already done away with Bomber. Okay, Driller is now... Oh, Driller's going for Shover, and he does have the advantage here. He is higher DPS if he can stay up in his grill. Driller has defeated Shover. Now all that's left is to kill Shooter. Not even an issue at all. Charger wins the second round. That's one for Charger, one for Shover. Round three. Okay, we have a three on three here down at the bottom left. Driller is absolutely destroying Bomber. He's going to get a little bit of residual damage from that bomb though. Oh, and he's charged into Shooter's, uh, Shooter's Spike. I don't think he's got a chance in hell here. Okay, but he has gone for sh he has gone for Shooter, which makes Shover the easy winner here. He didn't have to do anything. Round four. Driller is now going for Shooter right away. No damage to speak of so far. Bomber did manage to get Shover, and Shover now wants into this three on three. I, well, look, Shooter is not having a good time, but oh, Driller is really doing away with old Shover here. Okay, he's at full health. I think he's just going to have a complete clean sweep here. Somehow, I can't imagine him beating, uh, him losing to Bomber. No, Bomber's not even trying to dodge. He's too busy just trying to score his points with his bomb. Maybe the reward value for getting hurt is uh, needs to be increased. The negative reward value needs to be increased. That's another win for Charger. Round five. This is the final round and tiebreaker. Driller's already right up in the grill of Shooter. Shover's come in as well. And already Shooter's been taken out. Shover's getting some good hits in, but Driller can really close this up quickly. But, oh man, Shover just keeps buying good space. At this point, Driller's looking pretty weak. One more hit should take him out, and yep, he's gone. Now, Shover's pretty weak here, but Bomber on his own is going to really struggle to make a lot of impact. Still, he is spacing himself pretty well, and those bombs are doing a good job. Still, uh, no, it looks like Shover's going to get this in the bag. All he needs is one good hit, but he... <laughs> He seems very afraid there. What's going on, Shover? Yeah, here we go. One more hit from Shover should do it. And we just... Oh, but no! A bomb just manages to clip Shover right at the end. And there we go. That gives us a final tally of Shover 2, Charger 2, Bomber 1, and Shooter, you are dead to me.